In Section 5, we'll be going over the capturing of event sensor data. Now that you have created your project, it's time to start collecting data. When you first open a project, you are entered into label mode. So we will switch modes into capture mode. Here you see your sensor configuration options are available. It is important that you collect your sensor data with the same configuration you plan to use in your production sensor. Collecting data with different settings can cause unexpected results depending on various aspects, such as sensor orientation, sample rate, or calibration. The pre-made Quick Start projects had a sensor configuration called Sensor 1 that was used to create the project. Here we will create a sensor configuration. We will name it Sensor 1, and we will choose Quick AI, Motion, 104, and BLE data. This saves the configuration to the project automatically, both in the cloud and locally. Now that you have set up your sensor, it's time to find your device. Click on Find Devices. If you do not see the device that you are looking for on the list, go ahead and hit Scan. Here, this is the device that is in our list, so you'll click it and hit Connect. Now you can see the sensor data coming in. Now that you have connected to the device, you can see sensor data coming, but you cannot yet hit record. Projects first need events and metadata in order to begin recording. The Data Capture Lab will automatically tag your files with the events and metadata that you have selected. To do that, you'll first add some events. On the right-hand side, click Add Events to bring up the Project Properties screen. To add an event group, first click Segment Labels and the plus sign. Here we will add one group and we will call it status. In the next screen, we'll add three events to this group. Click on the plus sign and add an event called stationary. Click on create another so that we can add more. Hit done and continue with this for horizontal and vertical. If you forgot to uncheck the Create Another, you can just hit Cancel and you can see the three events that we've added to the group. Click on Done and you can see that you now have an event group called Status. Now click on Metadata and the plus sign to add a metadata group. Let's call this one Enclosure. Click on Next, and here we can choose metadata to be either a selection or manual entry. Selection lets you create a drop-down list, much like the segment groups or event groups. Manual lets you type in a manual data field. Here we'll hit Manual and Next. Then we'll click Done, and it will save all those project properties to the project. Now that you have your events and metadata created for your projects, you will be able to capture a file. From your events list, choose Stationary, because our board is not moving, and call the enclosure None, because it is sitting on our desk. You can see now that the Begin Recording button is ready to use. Go ahead and click Begin Recording Data. The Data Capture Lab will now start streaming all the data you see onto a file. If someone taps on the table, you will see that in the data being streamed in and in the file later. We'll go ahead and stop recording to save this file. The Data Capture Lab will automatically upload it to the server along with any events and metadata that you have selected.